Hi students, today I will be explaining you all regarding IoT access technologies. This is the first part and we are going to see further in the coming presentations uh, about this IoT access technology. Okay, let me quickly move on to the next slide. Yes, IoT access technologies. Here I would like to add one thing. What is the use of this uh, access technologies? Right? Uh, Usually, these access technologies are mainly proposed for the communication. Uh, like we have uh, uh, three principal system currently we are using uh, like Wi-Fi, 3G, 2G and long term evaluation LTE. All these uh, things are developed for the third generation uh, uh, partnership which are meant for the communication and connectivity purpose only. So, this is one of the uh, concept here where we can access uh, uh, to our computers or to the network or to the wireless uh, devices, right? So these IoT access technologies were uh, uh, addressed here uh, for the accessibility of the network based on various uh, standard constraints. Okay, let me uh, tell you all. The first constraint here is if you need to use this IoT access technologies, we need to follow certain standards. That is what we say standardization. Like we need to follow specific protocols uh, for the connectivity and uh, communication purpose. And also there are different types of layers, physical layer, MAC layer, security layer, right? All these layers uh, uh, has to uh, do their job. Physical layer, we, need, we know like what is the role played by the physical layer, right? It is mainly used to send the data from one uh, device to the other device. Uh, uh, and uh, also it is mainly responsible for if you are uh, uh, establishing a setup among the uh, devices within the network, it will support. Uh, like it is mainly used for the connection to uh, network and followed with the transmission and receiving uh, of the signals uh, it will uh, uh, look for. So physical layer is a layer where we uh, work here to see whether we are connected wirelessly or with a wired method uh, approximately with the relevant frequency to send the data or to receive the data. Right, MAC layer, if you can look at the uh, MAC layer, uh, medium access control layer. So it's a bridge uh, between the physical layer and the data link layer. Here I need to say one thing. Uh, this physical layer also identifies the smart objects within the environment. With this background, uh, the MAC layer, whatever I am saying, uh, it how it bridges the physical layer and uh, uh, data link layer in between is, so usually it is responsible for coordination of the um, access among these devices. So what kind of coordination we are doing among the physical layer and among the data link layer, it will coordinate and uh, it uh, shares the data access the devices uh, among these two right which is used for uh, sharing the data right that is the uh, main reason we are using MAC layer it's a communication medium which is responsible for coordinating the access between the uh, two devices or if you are using here physical layer and data link layer in between this will act as a medium next one is about the data link layer here since uh, we got the data link layer so I need to say uh, the data will be uh, transmitted with the help of this data link layer. Usually we know data means it is in terms of uh, a small quantum of units or it may be in terms of packets. Packets means group of data items, right? So this data link layer takes this data, um, uh, data bits and then uh, it will form the packets and also uh, it will go for the reliable transmission. Right, reliable transition means which is the source and which is the destination will be known. Accordingly, uh, the process detection will happen and the transmission will occur. So why we are using this reliable communication uh, term here is uh, just like to detect the, which is the source and to transmit uh, for a right destination, we were using this. So data link layer is uh, responsible for data transmission between the source and destination. Right, so MAC is a communication medium between the physical layer and the data link layer. Yes, next one, topology. Topology is the main important constraint here to access the uh, network or to access the devices within the network. So topology, like it is just like an infrastructure, how you are set up with the network and how the devices were connected. 
right and the security part yes for every uh, technology uh, security is a prime factor if you are not providing the security it will be very difficult to work within a network and also i have uh, explained in my previous uh, slides like security is a prime component for us none of the devices none of the area in the world is uh, hacking free there is uh, security is there but still it's not like 100% security so security is also one of the prime concern uh, uh, which is addressed through these iot technologies and the competitive technologies usually for every technology what we are seeing there is a alternative for the uh, given technology or the technology which is introduced in the market yes now java uh, c++ java and all it is getting outdated now python is booming uh, uh, in the software industry is it clear so because we are going with the simplicity so we are going with the uh, uh, finest um, uh, what do you say uh, coding uh, features so uh, obviously like uh, there will be an always substitute for the uh, existing technology an alternative will be there so when we are working with this uh, iot access technologies we were concentrating towards this uh, uh, different types of constraints so standardization physical layer mac layer which is included with the data link control layer and the topology security and the other technologies yes with this background let us look at the uh, access technology what we are using so ieee 802.15.4 it is a wireless access technology which we are uh, uh, going to read now uh, in the next topic so why we selected this ieee 802.15.4 is it we know like this is an ieee group which is maintained and uh, it is having its own technical standards right uh, when we are working with the low uh, uh, end applications this uh, standard will support for us so it is a wireless technology which is uh, operate for the low end applications as i mentioned which is having low cost low data rate and the number of devices that are connected uh, will run on the uh, battery and there are following uh, uh, different types of deployments it means this access technology will be used in the following applications like home and uh, auto home and uh, uh, building automation we can use this because it is with the limited uh, Uh, specifications home means like we have a limited area in that we can use this wireless technology we are using already and building automation also like within the limited area only we will construct the building so we can go for uh, this access technology and also automotive networks now every network is automotive i can say uh, all the networks whatever we are connected it is almost wireless right and also industrial wireless sensor networks where we can see most number of uh, uh, applications which are running with the uh, smart devices and uh, toy industry and remote controls already we are witness from past decades these kind of uh, wireless technology only it is used in all the remotes so that we are gaining the control on the devices yes and mainly this ieee 802.15 it is mainly focused on Uh, uh different parameters if you consider either of the object or a network there are different types of para pa performance parameters like reliability uh, i mean uh, latency part and uh, uh, multi signal propagation susceptibility all these things so if you can see the reliability reliability is a prime factor when we are transmitting any data we should see the data should reach to the destination without any issue and latency it's a temporary delay Uh, we see like how much ever the amount of latency is uh, uh, reduced we could say like uh, uh, the transmission rate is higher and it is effective and also multi path fading multi path fading is uh, is uh, nothing but the signal propagation see the signals may be diverted due to either of the reason and it may reach to the destination in different way to through different paths right so i uh, brief you all about what is this 802.15.4 it's a uh, like a technical standard like which is meant for uh, wireless personal area network which is for the low end applications because data rate is restricted and batteries uh, uh, we are working uh, uh, with this uh, battery oriented uh, devices and also yes wherever we have the uh, uh, less uh what do you say less scope to work with the application we can use this because there are some restrictions as i mentioned right let me move on to the next slide 
okay uh, next slide is all about standardization standardizations yes i mentioned already there are certain standards what we are following uh, you could see like uh, high level zigbee protocol stack so uh, this is one of the uh, uh, pictorial representation of the zigbee protocol stack there is a relation between this zigbee and this uh, 802.15.4 uh, zigbee is also a uh, access technology which is built on this ieee 802.15.4 standard uh, why because the physical layer and ma medium access layer control uh, control uh, control layer whatever we are seeing uh, this zigbee builds uh, above to these two layers so this ieee standard and above that this network layer security application support together we can say this is ieee 802.15.4 with zigbee access technology and uh, yes there are different types of access technologies i mentioned compared to wi-fi uh, zigbee is better compared to bluetooth zigbee is better compared to uh, zigbee this access technology which is ieee 802.15.4 is moderately better right uh, we have different types of layers i mentioned already and these are meant for low uh, data uh, applications or low uh, uh, application standards uh, they are having uh, here we have physical layer mac layer and i explained what is the role of physical layer and uh, uh, mac layer and wireless personal area networks and uh, here uh, we will work for uh, uh, lower data rates only but the battery life would be uh, here good because the application standard itself it is low by default we may have limited battery usage that's all and uh, you can see uh, this physical and mac layers are the foundations for various uh, network protocols i mentioned already uh, one of the thing is zigbee uh, i specified already in the uh, previous uh, uh, concept and this zigbee will be utilizing this uh, uh, protocol standard which is uh, 802.15.4 standard uh, at the lower like we have this physical and mac layers above we have network security layer uh, network and security layer application support layer on the top uh, uh, of these two layers mac and physical layer right and uh, yes we know that when we are establishing any network security is a prime important uh, thing and we need to follow certain standards uh, configuration settings and routing mechanisms and uh, secured communications so everything is a matter here and based on that we could see without getting much into multi path fading uh, we could route the data to different types of uh, uh, devices while communicating right so here this network whatever we mention uh, like high level zigbee protocol stack is included with uh, different routing paths and uh, there may be a cause for changing the topology if required when we are building an application and also uh, when we were there in the network or when the nodes are there in the network uh, there should be a mechanism to discover the adjacent node so that uh, uh, there will not be any confusion and if any one router node is failed the other uh, uh, anchor node will become a substitution for that so likewise there are different types of constraints where each node has to support within a network when we provide the access technology all these mechanisms should be a part of it right so how the network should initiate how the configuration should takes place what are the different types of specifications what are the routing mechanisms right what is a uh, uh, communications why by assigning the security when we are working with the multi path fading it is nothing but uh, when the signal propagates diverts from one part to the other part how the topology is supporting how uh, it, it the nodes will discover the adjacent nodes everything is included as a part of this specification the last two which is network layer security layer and application layer i need not say about the role of this network security and application layer so network layer as i mentioned it is meant for data transmission uh, and here we should see uh, uh, when uh, we were behind the uh, proper technology whether we are following a proper topology or not is a question mark under the network layer uh, for the correct topology whether it may be a mesh or star or tree or hybrid topology this network layer will specify 
security layer yes using some of the uh, encryption standards uh, uh, the security will be provided at the network and application layer as i mentioned and here uh, i hope uh, in the cn last module we have seen about the encryption and decryption standards by using different algorithms right and all the algorithms are uh, based on the um, uh, what do you say uh, encoding and decoding standards so where it uses uh, st certain standard key for uh, encoding and decoding what do you call as an encoding and decoding converting the original form of data into unreadable format which is the cipher format and again we have to use a, a key to decrypt the data and the transmission should take over so that was a security key what we are assigning right like we have different types of uh, symbols characters and uh, uh, numbers for every number or character there will be an equivalent substitute in the encryption process yes so on the security layer and network layer will be assigning the security last one is about the application layer so application layer i mentioned already uh like uh, whether we are working with the lower end of applications or higher end of applications um like these kind of access technologies will be dealing with the uh, uh, applications so here as per your high level zigbee protocol stack the lower portion of the stack will be dealing with the network of the uh, devices and uh, Uh, uh the rest will be dealing with a higher uh, level of applications higher layer of applications yes that is all about this uh in the next uh, ppt i'll be continuing with this jigbee ip and uh, communication uh, protocols thank you